you know ain't that pretty sitting in this nice pretty location burning all the sticks and twigs trying to get everything all cleaned up say it's one of the jobs it's not one of the fun jobs but it's one of the jobs you got to do to get this thing ready to go we've been kind of getting everything cleaned up around here <laughs> morning it's Tuesday and uh, did a bunch of tractoring yesterday did some wood burning did a bunch of stuff but uh, let me show you where we're at today so this is the other side there's the original there's that side and this side is just squared up today we're gonna uh, get everything lined up way we're going to do it we're going to build the supports for the roof and uh and then tomorrow morning the tractor's coming back is going to pull these poles out and dig the footings we did kind of have to do a little bit of, of uh, removal of some roots as you can probably tell but most of them were pretty dried up so hopefully we have not destroyed my tree i would be very bummed out but uh, talking with some people, they seem to think these trees are pretty resilient. So we'll see. I don't know. They've all, all three of them have lost a few roots. So, but there's still a lot of roots in the ground. There's roots everywhere. I'm going to get out here. I got my little trimmer deal over here on the pole. And I'm going to kind of try to trim. Well, I don't even know if I need to trim them up. We'll see. But we're getting there now. We're getting close. You know, it's always the type of situation where you're always glad to be done with what you're doing and then, until you get onto the next project and then you're you're still not glad with <laughs> having to do that. But this is this is probably the of everything to do, this is probably the worst part is getting all this stuff. We put all those stakes up. You get things figured out. Those ones over there. The problem is they <laughs> they got ran over by the tractor and knocked down. And so now we got to start all over again. We got to put all those stakes back up. Figure out, you know drag tape measures and figure out how far we're going down and all that stuff. Should be pretty fun. Ready to get after it today. There comes Scott. So here's what's going on today. Getting all the strings run, getting everything set up for digging the footing. We're not gonna have, we're not gonna be able to do the foot digging tomorrow on the footings because we got, we gotta make supports for both roofs. And we gotta get all this, we're getting everything set up. It's having to do some fitting for getting our lines set and everything else, so. I like to say it's getting fun, but not quite yet. It's still had to do a little jack up here, still working on all that, getting everything squared and level and and fingered out. Painting lines for the tractor, so he knows where to dig.
That ain't sketchy. <laughs> Just happy the roof's staying there. <laughs> well, it's Friday evening. It's been a very busy week, and I know myself and Darla, and I'm sure Scott is too. We're all wore out. We've been working pretty hard. Let me show you what we uh, got accomplished. We dug a bunch of holes. <laughs> This is all for the footings. There's going to be some blocks in there for center support. And uh, as you can see, the we had all the strings in and had to take them out when they did the digging. And then today we had to redo it. This over here is going to be a retaining wall because our bedroom's going to be lower than the rest of the house. So that's going to be a retaining wall there. And... Getting our sewer line in for the bedroom. Took the poles out. They are no longer here anymore. Of course, if you've been watching the video, I'm sure you know that too. We had to secure that thing so it don't blow away. That's in, we got that capped off. We're gonna end up cutting a trench over here. And then here's the, the other sewer. And the tractor dug this over here. He got into those and destroyed both those. And one had the water line, but it didn't damage the water line. So I just had to get some new tubing and, and fix that up. So that's all back to ready to go. And the, there's going to be concrete all in this and all down here. Pretty, pretty involved. This part is the involved part. But this will be the kitchen. The old part. This will be the kitchen. And then, just kind of repeating myself, but there's the bedroom, but the door will be over here. And then we'll have a door out to the side and a door out the back onto the deck. And... That'll be our, our view back there. 
it's coming along. I gotta go pick up steel tomorrow. Then this next week, we're gonna try to get this, the concrete put in. And once the concrete's in, then the brick layer comes and he sets up the bricks. And then we are, we're done. Kind of trying to show this for people to see because people like ourselves, we've been on the road. We're officially starting our 15th year this month. And we'll probably do two small jobs a year from here on out, probably maybe two more years. And then we're probably going to be camping once in a while. <laughs> the full-time living in the RV, once this thing is done, it's dialed in, then we'll probably do two jobs for a while. After that, it'll be a camping trip here and there. And we even talked about possibly selling the big rig and getting something small and i'd have to to drive the the big motor home it's great for living in man i got no complaints about holiday rambler i've got no complaints about class a motor homes diesel motor homes especially they do take a lot of maintenance and a lot of work but i think you get the most for your money you get comfort you get heavier insulation you get a lot of things on the class a motor homes that you don't get on most of the uh class c's and stuff like that. so a couple are good really good class c's and some really good travel trailers but for the most part it's been a good run for us and we're not done yet but we're working on getting done and just trying to enjoy these last couple of years of full-time rv and uh, look forward to settling in here and just kind of trying to do the best we can and just wanted to thank you guys that have have been with us on this journey watching us do our lifestyle and we tried to help some people get some good work jobs and stuff like that and now we're just trying to show you what it what it's like when you get to a point where you just feel like it's getting time to maybe stop and we're not quite 70 but we're pretty close and i know there's people that go into their 80s uncle jerry and aunt nancy you've heard me talk about them a lot they went into their 80s they were off the road uncle jerry's past but aunt nancy's still alive oh she's not traveling anymore so and they traveled for years they traveled for 18 years before we started so if they were still on the road they'd be uh, almost 35 years so that's a long time i think uh living in in a motorhome, living on wheels is a great lifestyle. And I, I would really recommend it to younger people. I know we don't have a lot of young people that watch us. Everybody thinks you have to be old to do this lifestyle. You really don't. If you're young and you're not, you know, you, you're not afraid to work a little bit, you can have a really good life. We were 54 when we took off and, and we worked, we worked about eight, seven, eight months out of the year, but it gave us a lot of free time too. So there's my economic refugees t-shirt. Anyway, hopefully we can get some people enthused about maybe doing something like this. We're in Arkansas, great place to be. One thing about it is here, there's no pulling permits. There's no inspections. The deal is, is if you build something and it falls on you, it's your fault. So you can build whatever you want. And I did want to keep I don't know. This building was here. It's been here for a long, long time. And I think it's been here at least 50 years, maybe longer than that. It's not going to look anything like it did before. There, a lot of the bones of it are still going to be here. And it, it's going to be it's gonna be a pretty solid rig when we're done. I think it's going to be really nice. And hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully we love it. So you guys all have a great day. If you would, give us a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to us, please subscribe because I think we're going to have a lot of good content coming up, a lot of interesting stuff. And for some people that, that haven't even started on the road, we have plenty of videos about that. And some people are thinking about getting off. Maybe this will give you an idea on how to go about it. So you guys have a great day, great evening. Thanks for watching. Talk to you again soon.